Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to dive into the world of visual coding by creating a tessellation. Let's get started by clicking on the IDE icon to initiate a new project. Since we'll be using an arrow sprite for drawing, let's delete the default sprite. Additionally, go to choose a sprite, search for an arrow one, and add the arrow sprite to the project. Add the pen extension for drawing by clicking Add Extension and selecting Pen. We'll begin by creating a function named Draw Pattern to draw a pattern of six circles for the arrow sprite. Click on the arrow one sprite. Select Make a block within the My Blocks palette and name the block a Draw Pattern. Then click OK. Add the necessary blocks under this new block to define its functionality. Begin by using the pen down a block from the pen extension. The aim is to draw six circles with a gap between each one. Let's break down the process of drawing a circle. Within the control block, select repeat and set the value to 36. Move to the motion block, choose move 10 steps and link it to the repeat block. Adjust the value to three. Include a turn 15 degrees block and adjust the value to 10. Now, adjust the pen's orientation slightly to the right. Opt for the turn 15 degrees block from the motion section and set the value to 60. To alter the pen's color after each circle, navigate to the pen block. Choose change pen color by 10. This code currently draws a single circle, but for the tessellation, we'll enhance it to draw six circles. Access the control block, pick repeat, and set the value to 6. Place this code inside the repeat block. To conclude the drawing, click on the pen extension and choose this pen up block. Move to the motion block. Click on the change X button and set the value to 80. This will reposition the drawing each time it starts to draw the next circle. When you run the program, you'll observe a single pattern. However, our goal is to create 20 patterns. Now, let's develop the program to repeat the pattern and achieve tessellation. There's no need to duplicate the code for drawing the pattern since we've already created the function. To initiate the drawing process, by clicking on the flag icon, navigate to the events block and select when flag clicked. Within the pen block, choose erase all. To reduce the size of the arrow sprite, head to the looks block and select the set size to block. Set the value to 30. Set the sprite to the position where the drawing is intended to begin. Utilize the go to X, Y position block from the motion category. Include the draw pattern block. In the control block, select repeat and set the value to 5 as we aim to draw the pattern 5 times in a row. Now, insert the draw pattern function inside the repeat block. This way, the draw pattern function will be executed 5 times. To move to the next line after completing the drawing 5 times consecutively, use the motion block to adjust the position accordingly. To achieve this, Choose Change Y by and set the value to minus 80. Next, select Set X and set the value to minus 178. Since we want to create for rows, navigate to the control blocks. Select the Repeat button. Place the code block inside the Repeat button and set the value to 4. Connect the code blocks and click on the flag icon to execute the program. Save the program by clicking here and giving it a suitable name. Thank you.